let's jump over to Creatopy and walk you through creating images using Generative AI. You can find the AI image tool in the left sidebar under the Insert option. Before we begin, we need to talk prompts. It's not rocket science, but here are a few aspects you should consider. There are two ways of writing a prompt, with commas or in a sentence. Both of them will work and give you almost the same result, so one isn't better than another. For this video, we'll use the first method. You'll need to find the sweet spot between a simple and elaborate one, and here is your guide for writing the perfect prompt. Remember the cute and dangerous prompt? Let's analyze it a bit. Break it down into a structure with categories such as subject, medium, framing, and background, each with specific keywords you can consider. The subject of the image is a brown bear. The medium in this case is drawing, but you can go for countless examples like digital painting, portrait, oil painting, photography, or concept art. Or if you're out of ideas for image styles, you might find our presets handy. Note, if you're using one of the preset styles, you don't need to mention the medium in your prompt, as they overlap. Next up is the framing. In our case, it's the upper body, but you can experiment with anything from close-up to full body. The background used in our prompt is a post-apocalyptic cityscape, but you can choose whatever your heart and imagination desires. If you want to change the aspect ratio, you can do so from the drop-down. Pro tip, every aspect ratio has a predefined resolution – square, landscape, portrait. Of course, there are other categories you can consider while writing a prompt – camera effects, how sharp and detailed the image is, for example, sharp focus, bouquet effects, or lens blur, and other variables such as color, lining, and so on. But remember, if you want to master it, you need to explore it. Keep in mind that while most of these tips are general principles, we mainly focus on how to get the most out of Creative AI. Now that we've overanalyzed our prompt, let's take another example. This time we want to be pragmatic and generate an image that we could actually use in a real campaign. Let's try selling a table. Notice how we didn't specify an image style? That's because we will select one of the presets. Next, consider how many variations you want to generate. We recommend generating four, as you will have more options to choose from. With the prompt and selections in place, it's time to get cooking. Click on the Generate button and let AI do its magic. Once the images are generated, you can review and select the ones you'd like to bring to the stage. Every image added to the stage will automatically be saved to the brand kit assigned to the design you're currently working on. You can also hover over the images that are generated in the left sidebar and choose to save them to the brand kit or even download them. Now we can move to generate image variants for existing pictures. We'll go over two scenarios – generating an image based on line art and based on content. Let's start with generating an image based on line art. This method takes into account the outline of the subject in the image, therefore the results will have a similar composition. It's important to note that the subject will not remain exactly the same, but you'll get a similar version each time you alter various aspects such as hair color, clothing style, background, and other details. Keep in mind that in this scenario there are certain limitations as to what you can alter. For instance, you cannot transform a woman into a child, let's say. You can also make adjustments to the time of the day, weather conditions, or change the material of your image subject, generating an owl that's made out of jelly, wood, or metal, for example. If your image has a clean background, you can easily adjust it, but if it's busy, the results might be unstable. Moving on to the generating based on content. This method doesn't require prompts. Instead, you can select one of our preset styles. It works best when you want multiple image variations based on the original image. We recommend using the same style that matches your image source. Remember, pictures generated based on content have a predefined resolution. So we've explored prompting and generating images based on line art and content. So far so good, but let's see what else can you do with your images. There are several options to explore – remove background, generate background, remove objects, and blur background. As for enhanced images, increase resolution and expand image. Let's take them one by one, starting with removing the background. With just a few clicks, three to be more precise, you can remove the background of your image, instantly making it more versatile in your ad designs. 
What if you want to add a new background to your image? No problem. Simply describe the background you want to generate and our AI will take care of it, giving your image a whole new look and feel. This comes in handy when you want to showcase your product in different parts of the world. Moving on to my personal favorite, removing unwanted objects from your image. Use the brush to remove objects, you don't need to be super precise with the strokes, it's even recommended to go outside the boundaries and just let AI do the work. Also, as a best practice, try to avoid removing objects from images with transparent backgrounds, as the AI relies on existing background information. You can even remove people from your images, and it works best when there are two subjects positioned next to each other. Needless to say, avoid removing two overlapping subjects for best results. The Blur background option is simple and to the point. It detects the background behind the subject and blurs it to add a more professional look to your images. You can control the blur density using the slider. We have a couple of options when it comes to enhancing your images. First up, increase image resolution. This one is pretty simple. Need a bigger image? No problem. Depending on the resolution of the image, you can increase it in the following increments from 1x to 4x. The first is the perfect options if you need to scale your generated AI images to full HD. An important thing to note is that you can't have results larger than 3000 by 3000. Next up, expand the image. You can easily expand an original image to provide more context around the subject or to fit your design. To top things off, if you need to make changes to multiple images, such as removing or blurring the background, you can do it in one go by selecting them and making the necessary edits. Think of it like an experienced online ad copywriter right next to you. It can create short, concise and compelling ad copy like a seasoned professional, ideal for short text like headings or descriptions. When you generate a copy based on a prompt, our AI will always provide 10 text variations, ensuring you have various choices. Just like in the case of image generation, prompts are a key factor in getting the best results. Context is key. Be sure to offer detailed information including the type of text you're looking for, whether it's a headline, ad description or anything else. Combining your prompt with an example text can further enhance the AI's understanding. This allows AI to generate options based on a specific context, improving the relevance and accuracy of the generated copy. With this in mind, let's go ahead and play with the prompt. You can generate text based on a selected layer or from scratch. In this case, we start fresh. Here is the original headline generated by AI. Let's see how AI can enhance your writing. This includes improving grammar, fixing spelling errors, and adjusting the voice and tone to match your desired style. Next, let's look at how the AI can generate content. This includes providing text alternatives and rewriting it as a headline or as a description. Here is an alternative headline suggestion. And now, let's rewrite the prompt as a description. Finally, AI can modify the length of the text. Whether you need to make it shorter or longer, the AI can adjust it while retaining its essence. Let's shorten our description while keeping the core message. Let's say you'd like to translate one or more text layers into another language and leave a text layer untouched. You can achieve this by selecting the text layers, opening AI text and heading over to Translate. Here, you can select the language you want to translate the selected layers in. If you wish to have the same layer in multiple languages, a good solution is to duplicate the layer. This method allows you to translate the layers into one language. But let's examine the other option. With AI Translate, you can create and translate variations of your creatives in just a few simple steps. Before we dive in, please note that you must have at least one text layer in your design to use the AI Translate feature. Now that we're ready, let's get started. Ensure no layer is selected on the stage and open the AI Translate tab. Select the languages you want to translate your designs in. 
You can preview the variations directly from the header to ensure they meet your expectations. If needed, you can edit the text of the translated variations by double-clicking on the text layer, which will open a panel with all the text layers. Now, let's export our variations. Head over to Download, select the format of your choice and choose which rows you want to export from the drop-down menu under the Feed Rows section. AI Translate takes every text layer from your design and translates it into the selected languages. And there you have it! You've saved a lot of time by quickly creating ad variations for your designs.